Hi everyone, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. A company called Enchanting Fine Art was kind enough to send me masses of glitters. All different like colours and you know, chunky ones and fine ones and some beads. And so I'm going to do a video today demonstrating some of them, not all of them because there's so many. I have on my table over here um, a sample that I want to demonstrate and I'm going to incorporate them with some glass, some crystals, and some uh, beads and all kinds of wonderful stuff. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So what I've decided to do is a geode slice inspired painting. This is a 12 inch by 12 inch panel board. I've masked the sides because I want it to be nice and clean. I'm standing on four cups just to keep it slightly raised and I want it to be really pretty pink and gold. So I've mixed my pink which the base is Amsterdam acrylics. Um, what's it called? It's a very difficult name to pronounce. Um, quinacridone rose light and then just a ton of white. So I'm going to squeeze that off my brush and I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can hold you up. You can see in the light I got a paint pen and sort of drew out the areas that I want to um, put stones or paint. So this area in the middle, I want to put paint. So I'm going to do that first. And this is going to be really pale. Let me just put my, I'm even going to have to lift it up myself to see the line. But I did map it and I would stick to my my map. Sometimes I don't plan I don't plan everything out to be honest. But on this one I did, so I do want to kind of stick to it. Um and I might not even use pink resin for this. Where's that other line go? Here. Right. That's my pink area. And then I'm going to do a little bit of pink just here, I think. All right, now I've got the bases down, I can go ahead and do it. And obviously this is just the undercoat. Everything Will, this is probably going to have like several layers of resin and stones and um, I've got some relief pens I'm going to use instead of markers. So this is also covering up my original lines, which is what I kind of intended. So that's got my, my color down. Very subtle. Right. Okay. So now I am going to put the stones down where I want them, put my paint to the side. Um, I'm going to have, this corner is going to be really chunky and I'm going to start with um, here. I have, I'm going to put the stones on first and then pour the resin. So the stones I've got, I've got these really chunky ones, which I'm not going to use many of because they're like super, super chunky. And I made most of these, by the way. I made a mold and whenever I have leftover resin, 
I just pour them in the mold. I've still got to cut those out. Because they're very expensive. So I'm just going to put a few of those. Not many. That'll probably do. And then I've got some pinkish ones. This is some cut glass. Oh, where's my spoon? Don't put my spoon. Excuse me for stretching over here. I can clean those up. Now I could do this by mixing the stones with resin. Um, but I want to do it this way. Um, I don't know, I can, the reason I'm doing it this way is I can place them exactly where I want them. And I've got some more here. And once the resin is dribbled on, that'll hold them in place. You will see. And more of this. This kind of adds the pink. I really want this chunky. And then I have another kind of pinkish one which I'm going to use. It's kind of reddish, but it'll make sense because I am going to do another layer of stones here, a little darker, because this then I'm going to get gold. But um, these are, if you can see, they're kind of a mixture of dark pink and sort of reddish. Um, it will help follow in with the next layer that I'm going to do. And in the resin, I'm going to put the glitter. And the glitter I'm going to use is, I've got a pink glitter, which is called um, Melt My Heart. And this is a glam powder that they make. And then I have another one that's coming. So I'm gonna fill that up. I like this. And I'm gonna put some more chunky ones. Where's my really big chunky ones? And this might take several layers of resin to really hold them in place. Let's do. Few more of these right on top. Okay, next now for the next um, kind of ring. And for that, I'm going darker, but I am going to mix some of this in, which you will see the transition. So here. I am going to use, well, I'll put these down first. This is like a red. So I'm going to put this here. Not, not too thick a line. I feel right up to the pink crystals. And then I have some smaller ones in the same sort of colour, but a bit more glittery. Oh, 
also when you're dribbling the resin on, it's sort of easier to control it. And you can also add like a second layer of resin if you don't think you've got it all. And also this, this is gonna have quite a few layers of resin. So by the time um, it's finished, everything will be covered. Now that's that, but I do want to kind of incorporate some paint. Oh, the glitter I'm going to add to the resin for this one is Dragon's Breath. And this is another glam powder, so glittery. So on here, I want to kind of incorporate this a bit more so it blends. I'm going to add some clear crystals, smaller ones. It's sort of like blending paint in a way. You add what's above and what's below. And that's why, uh, that's why this works so well. A little bit of this, which we used above. Okay, so that's that corner. And I'm gonna do the same for this tiny little corner here. I've mixed clear resin um, to use if I need to. I've got some resin mixed with a very little amount of pink glitter and some resin, a smaller amount mixed with the red glitter. So first of all, I'm going to drizzle the pink glitter, which should be fairly clear over this part. And if I need to add more stones, I will. As you can see, it's it's almost clear, but I'm going to sprinkle some glitter over it too. And make sure that's all covered. So if I was just doing this with stones and, and um, resin, sorry, it would take on a bit of a life of its own. All right, gonna let that, that which should sink through the layers because that's pretty chunky. All right, let's do the red glitter resin. I'm going to try and be really careful here because I don't particularly want it bleeding onto the board. I'm sure some of it will. That's good for now. Right, the other thing I'm going to do is very gently sprinkle some of this glitter over the stones. I forgot about that. So we're back on recording. So that is the red and some red here. Gorgeous. Of glitter everywhere. So that was the dragon's breath and this is not my heart. Sprinkle from above very delicately some of this beautiful pink glitter. Um, you have to check out Enchanting Fine Arts. That's gorgeous. Right. Now we shall wait until it's dry. Now it's the next day and 
it's pretty much, well, it has set, but if I lift it up like I just did, some little crystals are going to fall off, but that's fine. Like I said, it's gonna have lots more resin on it. So this part, this is um, Pebio's relief outliner. And this takes about 30 minutes to dry. I'm just going to get it going over here on the side. Um, get that top bit off. You have to squeeze quite hard. Okay. And you are gonna have my arm in the way. So apologies, but it can't be helped because I need to do it this way. dried it actually took longer than I thought to dry because it's quite thick so I have my resin and I've separated it into um, six different cups because even though it's just basically white golden pink I want to use two different gold, golds, I've got my glitters, I'm going to begin with some white and this is Carsten Crafts Opaque Pigment so I'm going to put that in one of the cups and this is a really like solid colour and it's really hard to get out the tube. So let's mix that and um, with to that I'm going to add a touch of the fairy dust and this is from the glam powder range. So if I can actually open it. I don't know whether to no, let me let me mix this first. So make sure it's really well mixed. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is pour it first and then add some of the fairy dust. I'll get my heat gun and spread that around. And I've got some more resin Lots of resin, actually. So I think I'm going to add some more resin into this little cup here. And to this, I'm going to add some fairy dust. I'm just going to push this up to the edge of the uh, relief paint and any that got into the pink I'm just going to wipe that with my finger gold going in now. OK, 
okay that's really warm um, because my camera turned off apologies but what I used was this the big kahuna and um, anyway you'll see so now I'm gonna mix some of the I think I'm gonna mix some pink now so I've mixed up I've got a little bit of acrylic pink paint here and I'm going to just do a little amount remember if you're gonna mix acrylic paint with resin you do not need a lot keep it less than one tenth paint to um uh you know to resin so i think what i'm gonna do like in this part just keep with oh, such pretty pink it's like baby pink i'm just going to put just pink in this part like so and i think the same in here And then I'm going to add some, and maybe the same in here. Right. And then for the main part, I am going to add the pink glitter, which is here. There we go, don't want to overdo it. And that's going to go in the centerpiece. Maybe a tiny, maybe a tiny bit more. Yes, there we go. Okay, this is going to go in the centerpiece. Right time for the gold now. Let's set up a little bit. I do want them to bleed in together. So I've got two golds. I have this wonderful powder that I've had literally for years. It's by Taranti and it's a um, dark gold powder. I cannot find it anywhere. I got it in England about 30 years ago and I've nearly run out and you only need a spot of it. And once you put the heat on it, it is just kind of this, oh, I don't know, miracle powder. It's just fantastic. Anyway, I love it. So yeah, it is beginning to set up a little bit. Uh, this is Treasure Gold by Folk Art. So um, let's mix that. And it's gold ore. So, and all oh, this is quite shiny. And it's like a paint. So I'm not going to put 
that much in. And this is going to react differently to my Taranti powder. So, mix, mix, mix. Okay, I think I'm going to put this up at the edge of the stones. And up here. I'm not going to worry about the blobs right now. And this I'm going to put all the way up here. And I'm going to blow them towards each other. Let me see if I can pour this with a straight hand because it's a long way. No, a wobbly hand. Well, a wobbly line. And um, by the way, also when it's completely dry, I am going to redo these um, relief lines. Okay, get my, get my heat gun. Let's blow from above first. that till tomorrow and tomorrow I'm gonna well it won't be your tomorrow it'll be in a couple of seconds I'm gonna do the nail polish and redo these lines I've got some silver to come in I'm just gonna pick move that stone over um, it will take it to the next level here it is hanging on the wall. It is absolutely gorgeous and flawless. Let me bring you in for a close up. You can see some of the detail. I'm really glad I put that nail polish on. And I'm going to go into the side angle. You can see, sorry, there's tons of reflection there. I'm hoping you can see the effects of that gold powder. And all those chunky crystals. I've taken it off the wall so you can see all the glitter in it. All the sparkles. It's just so pretty absolutely gorgeous so anyway thanks for watching i hope you like this i think i'm going to do this in tons of different colors i love it so let me put it all in the sun thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video